Hey there, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and welcome to 5D Manifesting, talking about the energy that needs to happen in order to help you accelerate your desires. This training has been pre-recorded, but join us now as we are midstream and talking a little bit about ourselves, how we got started in teaching 5D Ascension money, and a little bit in how to get clear about what you want. I actually started out as a screenwriter in Hollywood. I opened a $20 million script in 2009. I was on my way to being, you know, the next <laughs> whatever it is you think you're going to be, right? And what happened was, is I literally... Um, was asked by spirit to not do that anymore and to move into the arenas of healing. And I, I can tell you, you know, the biggest blow to my ego was like, are you absolutely insane? No way. Um, so long story short, my battle with Source went on for about a year and I lost. <laughs> so, so I switched gears. I started studying healing and teaching and uh, 5D ascension guidance for people who were um, pretty much spiritually awakening. And moving into more of their own um, alignment with their own source. And that was fun. It was much, you know, it wasn't as fun as creating really cool stories. But, um, you know, for me it was really, it was fun and exciting because what was happening, which just completely blew my mind, was based on the information I was receiving um, from my guides and from my team and from my source, uh, when I would pass it along or help people with their energy around it, especially money, because we love money, um, things started to happen. And when I say things started to happen, I mean people were manifesting shit within like 24 hours. I had people manifesting shit from my Mystic Money Shift course, which we are, which we are running and is opened for enrollment. But to give you just an idea... People would literally hit the PayPal button, pay to join the course, and then would start manifesting like crazy. Like there is one woman on my website, she manifested $10,000 the minute she hit the PayPal button. That is insane. And that's what really kind of kept me on the hook. That's what really um, just was like, okay, I, I, I want to do this because this is fun and it's really helping people. So... 5D is, for those of you who don't know, is fifth dimensional. And what that means basically, I mean, there's a whole lot of spiritual woo-woo garbage out there about 5D. You know, space aliens and everything like that. But when we talk about 5D, we talk about it from a place of consciousness, from a place of awareness, from a place that of that higher energetic being that you are, and that a lot of you are probably either opening to, awakening to, have awakened to, or even working in that realm already. And want to master it more, want to what we call deliberately create instead of accidentally accidentally create. And how we do that in 5D, which is a little bit different than 3D. So in 3D, you're working with your mindset. You're working with how you think. You're working with how you feel. You're working with catching your thoughts and um, ego work, shadow work. It's a lot of what we call... Um, we call it below energy. Not It's like above and below. We call it the below energy, the things that you do here while you're on the planet. A lot of people use journaling for that. That's a very 3D um, process. Anything where you're physically actually, you know, doing something, um, whether it's affirmations, whether it's mantras, whether it's EFT, those are all what we call our perspective or 3D things that you do here below, um, on the planet, if you will. 5D is where I live. <laughs> uh, and that is the above energy. And to, you know, to my not so great credit, um, I live a little too much in 5D because then you're not as grounded as people who are in 3D. And being grounded, uh, even when you're 5D manifesting, is super, super important. So 
when we talk 5D, I'm talking about all of that above energy, all of that higher dimensional realm energy, the energy of imagination, the energy of creation, the energy in which you get to drop any self-limiting beliefs because they don't exist in that energy, um, and just create with deliberate intention and purpose. And so it's been really interesting, this process of 5D manifesting, um, because I just came across, I don't know if you guys are aware, the um, CIA let released all of the gateway processes, which was a CIA program called the Gateway, um, the Gateway, which it um, studied, oops, sorry about that, that's my alarm, which it studied um, consciousness for over 20 years with um, specific um, people that they picked and chose. And they went through this program of like 42 hours of um trying to get people to have out of body experiences, how to have um, more awakening and being aware of your energy and your power, which was really cool. And I'm always, I'm always interested in, in stuff like that um, because it's, it's fascinating. So long story short, I actually got the gateway processes. They are available at the Monroe Institute if that is something you would like to do. Um, but what shocked me, I mean shocked the shit out of me big time was three so far I haven't gone through all 42 but three of the processes that I use to help people access their inner being so that you can 5d manifest in that above energy of complete limitless um, self deliberate creation three of those processes are used in the CIA gateway program how fucking insane is that? So, you know, now you have to understand the Gateway program was over 20 years ago. So, you know, we're a little bit mass consciousness, mass people. We're, you know, a little bit behind. But what was really fascinating to me and for me, and, and it was just validation of you're on the right track, the shit works, you're getting the right information, <laughs> start sharing it. So deliberate creation versus accidental creation. And let me explain a little bit about that. So uh, unless anybody has questions so far, feel free to raise your hands. I'm, I'm hawking the, the app here to make sure I, I can... Uh, catch everybody when they do. Um, so 3D manifesting, we manifest all the time, okay? Whether or not you deliberately intend it or not, you're manifesting right now. We're all manifesting right now. You Right now, you have a feeling, a thought, a belief, or something that you desire to create. And you are sending those signals out into the universe. The universe already knows what it is that you want, right? And our job here as deliberate creators is to become the vibrational match to the things that we desire. Now, everybody does it a little bit different. Um, like I said earlier, 3D manifesting, a lot of people do that with journaling. A lot of people do that with meditation. A lot of people do that with, you know, EFT, moving blockages and whatever. In 5D... I can tell you that you don't even have to do any of that. You don't have to do your shadow work uh, per se, this is what I'm going to say, in order to manifest, in order to get your ass out of your own way so that you can receive what you want. Yes, absolutely, you need to remove those blocks. But in order to manifest with deliberate creation to accelerate what it is that you desire, that's alignment, that's getting your yourself aligned with your source to receive. It's allowing and believing that you can have what it is that you've asked for, no matter how large or how small. It's all a matter of, can I have it? This is what I want. Really defining it. So in 5D, it's getting really clear on your desires, getting your vibration really aligned with your inner being so that you can receive it, and then getting your brain out of the way within like very quickly, um, which is the processes we teach, very quickly so that you're not manifesting in the wrong direction. Um, 
those processes for me, so you have to understand a little bit about me. When I do spiritual growth and evolution, anything that's spiritual, anything that's energetic, I like to go hard and I like to go fast, as my sons would say, yeah, Ma, you go balls to the wall. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Sometimes that works out for me, like, amazingly. And sometimes I crash into the wall and I fall into a pool of puddles, you know, of crap. But um, that's the way... I like to work. I like to go hard. I like to go fast. I like to get the things out of the way that I need to get out of the way. I like to do them quickly. Um, I like to sit and be aware and be more conscious of where I'm fucking myself up and as quickly as I possibly can move that out of the way. And so I've been teaching it that way. I've been teaching it the hard and fast way because I think there's people out there who are also awakening who aren't wanting to wait around for 10 years to get this law of attraction thing down, right? Or to, you know, completely heal and, um, you know, heal all your trauma before you get to have what it is that you want. Um, so I remember on TikTok, believe it or not, there was a girl who was asked me a question when I was live there, and she was like, I know I this is what I want, this is my desire, but I have so much trauma around it, and it keeps blocking me. So... And, and she's like, you know, and I can't manifest this. It's never going to come in until I heal all this trauma and get myself together. And I was literally like, if you see me, I hold nothing back. Like my facial expressions give away everything. I had this look of shock on my face and a, probably a little bit of, are you kidding me? Right. And I had to explain to her and, and maybe, you know, this is something that we all need to know as well is you do not have to heal all of your trauma in order to manifest anything. You can manifest with massive trauma happening in your energetic fields. Do you feel better and does it help your vibration and your mindset if those pieces are resolved and settled? Of course it will. Of course it will. But, you know, as a soul... You have so many experiences, life experiences, not even the ones from this life. Sometimes we have life experiences from past lives that are still kind of playing around in your circle. And if you're going to chase that monkey by the tail, you will never manifest anything because you'll still be working on all of the trauma. Okay? So I, I'm coming in to tell you just a little bit to give yourselves a break. Just kind of like let go of the monkey by the tail. And we're going to do some conversations and maybe even offer some tips about how can you use the 5D energy, that higher realm energy, that energy of limitless possibility, of creation, of imagination, to actually get really clear and manifest really what you want. I don't just mean money. I mean anything. I mean, good health, good partnership, finances are great, new clients. Um, you know, to give you an idea, I had this big thing I said when I was in my 20s. I said, I'm going to manifest a Mercedes Benz by the time I'm 50. That was my goal, right? So 49 rolled around. <laughs> I'm still driving my Nissan. And I decided my, you know, I wanted the Mercedes and I wanted it now, right? Because it's going to be 50. I made that goal. But, you know, my lease was up and it was time. And I tell this story a lot because for me, I've had massive, massive mind blocks when it came to money when it came to things like manifesting her Mercedes. And Mercedes for me was like the golden ring, right? It was like my, my, you know, you're riding the carousel and you're going to grab the ring. That was my golden ring. And up until that point in time, it just seemed so far and out of reach. And when I decided that I was going to do it because I was teaching all of this shit, might as well put it to use, right? Practice what you preach. I started practicing it. And I noticed a couple of things. Number one, it wasn't as easy as everybody says for me because I had a lot of monkeys in my head. But I did the processes. I did what my, you know, my guides taught me. And I started get, doing the 5D 
pieces and the mindset piece. So what happened was it was a combination of the 3D and the 5D. I manifested the energy in 5D and then it was all the 3D work that I needed to do to get out of the way so that the 5D work could actually flow through. Long story short, it was about two and a half weeks of work. It was two and a half weeks of mindset work. It was two and a half weeks of energy work, of creation work. It was really a cool experience. I wish I could tell you the whole thing, but I don't want to keep you here. But long story short, I did not only get um, my Mercedes, but I had to ask Source several times, how can I make this happen? Because I didn't have a down payment. So it was more, you know, I had, you know, possible lease, put it on a loan or whatever, but the how is never your job either. So for about two and a half weeks, I had to keep asking one question. And it wasn't, you know, I'm never going to be able to do this. I don't have um, the money to pay for this. I'm never going to be able to, to afford the repairs. You know, it wasn't any of those things that were going to talk me out of it. It was a whole different question. And that whole different question was how. How am I going to be able to do this? Dear universe, inner being, soul, source, God, creator, whatever you use, show me how I can make this happen. Right? It's not like, you know, make this payment plan work or, you know, give me the money. It was just a very open statement of show me how. Because I can't see my way out of this at the moment. I know how is not my business. Um, I know that if I want this, I can have it and you will, you know, create or we will create, co create together a way in which this is a possibility. So I walked around for two weeks every time I had a hiccup and I went, okay, yeah, but how? How can I do this? And two and a half weeks later, Source showed me how. Not only showed me how, but gave me such a deal, I nearly blew my mind. But it was all about a combination of the energetic aspects of creating and visualizing and feeling, and then the 3D exercises of mindset work, getting out of your own way, stop trying to control everything, and open to universal solutions. So that is a little bit about where and what direction I'm heading in on this call. If you have any uh, questions or want to share, p please feel free to raise your hand. Um, I will absolutely place you as a speaker. Um, and any questions that you might have for me right now, feel free to um, unmute yourself or, or raise your hand and we'll uh, bring you into the speaker forum. It can't be that interesting. <laughs> Um, okay, so, oh, all right. Well, I guess I wasn't that interesting because somebody left. Okay, so um, moving on then. So today I was just going to share um, some of the processes that I use in order to do that and a little bit about our Mystic Money Shift program, which was the above and below program that I actually used to manifest um, my Mercedes and how it was um, designed by me and um, the consciousness of Abraham, you might know them as Abraham Hicks, um, together we co-created a program, which was this program, in order to help people manifest. And because I wanted a program, so this is, here's the truth, right? Any program that I create that I share with people, I've used it myself first. I usually create everything for me. I know that sounds a little selfish, but that's the truth. I've created it for me. I come into these problems. Or I run into these blocks. I sit with my peeps. And at that point in time, for those of you who already know this story, I apologize for repeating it. Um, but at that point in time, I was hiring coaches left and right and throwing away thousands of dollars and not making any progress. I mean, zero progress, you guys. Zero. Like zero and hiring coaches that really, um, you know, outside of your 60 minute sessions didn't really want to engage with you. And I was paying, you know, really good money. Um, 
So that just kind of pissed me off. And then I went into this whole, you know, 5D kind of, okay, that's it. I'm not working in 3D anymore. Do not send me a teacher in 3D. I want a 5D teacher. I want a master in manifestation. I need to learn this shit. And I need to start, you know, changing things up. And who are you going to send me, right? So I kind of like ask this question in meditation every day for about three months. And I wasn't worried about when and if and who was going to show up because at that point in time I was so frustrated I just didn't give a shit I mean you could have sent me a turtle and I would have been like the best turtle student on the planet um and then one day in meditation the consciousness of Abraham came in very subtly and then just said would you like help with your alignment practice and that's when I realized 5D manifestation folks is about alignment and has nothing to do with money in truth, money is the byproduct of your ability to align with your inner being and to attract to you the things that you desire. That, for me, in that three seconds, was a mind blower. And I did become the best Abraham Hicks student but not in, in an obsessive way. It was um, my own very personal experience with that consciousness. So they led me to a couple of books and to a couple of practices. And then um, it was like I, having a personal coach. Because I am intuitive that way and I can read energy and I can hear and interpret their vibration into words, I was able to receive a, another level of teaching, which was kind of, you know, for a lack of better word, kind of like one-on-one right? You know, do this exercise. Okay, I know what that exercise is. Do it. And they would ask me questions about it as I was doing it. It took me two years, not going to lie, two years to kind of just start to unfuck my mind. I realized that I had been programmed with so many different patterns of belief, not only just from family, from friends, from colleagues, from coaching industries, but from the spiritual sectors. There were so many um, beliefs of misinformation um, that was being transpired throughout the money uh, world and, and spiritual concepts that were just misinterpreted. I mean, there was a lot of things to unravel. And it took me a while. But after two years, I got it. I turned my entire practice around. And the day that uh, Abraham and I released the program, Mystic Money Shift, which is um, the one that we're talking about that we co-created, uh, which is open for a moment, plug in. Um, it sold out within 24 hours. We made $10,000 in 24 hours and I, it was only four modules at the time. I only created four modules. It was like the meat, the juice, the chunks of it that people needed. I only charge, I charged less than a thousand dollars and we got 10 people in 24 hours. That was my container. So it blew out. And then since then, we've just been adding modules to it. So we're now up to about seven modules. And we've added two more programs for mindset, the 3D mindset, because Mystic Money Shift is very heavy in 5D, very heavy in the energy, very heavy in working with your inner being, very heavy in receiving divine right action, receiving intuition, receiving... Um, uh, what's the word, action steps from what we call your inner mystic, which is in your inner being. And so I realized at some point in time, oh, you know, we're really heavy here in 5D. We need to balance some of that out with the 3D pieces because that's where people were running into trouble. So we just added it to the program. We didn't change it or anything. It was part of the programming that was missing. So all those people who signed up within the first 24 hours, two years later, got all the other programs so that their programming was actually brand new all over again. So they got to do it again. And that's how we do it. So if you like, if you joined our course and we decided to change something, add something, or take something out, it doesn't matter if you took the course 10 years ago. I don't care. Because that means the program you know, was right for you then, but now we've expanded it. And because you were a part of it, you should have it too. And we usually give all of our people who signed up previously all the free stuff. And you get it for free. Um, so that's how, that's how we kind of focus on 5D. So 
before we go into like more of the 5D areas, does anybody have any questions about any of the 3D stuff uh, before we go into the above? Or are we all like like me? Are we all airy fairy like I am? Like you just want to fly into 5D? Let me know. Again, feel free to raise your hand, um, and and feel free to talk. Um, I do love hearing myself talk. I could talk all day, but I do like to hear you too. So feel free to do so. Um, okay. Are there any things that you guys are manifesting right now? that maybe you would like, um, I don't know, um, a perception, a reframe around, a thought or assistance with, you can do that. Let us know what you're manifesting. Um, so let's talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about the 5D process that I walk my people through, through the Mystic Money Shift program with um with Abraham. So when I can take, when I create a container, it is an energetic container that is, I don't know how mystical you guys are, but um, let me know if you have a question about this. It is an energetic container that's set up in the higher realms. And what that means is energetically myself, Abraham, my money mastery guides, I do have a set of them who work with us on money. We have like an energetic container for your energy, for your inner being to actually meet with us in that container, in that 5D higher dimension. So what that means is every class that I create has a classroom, an energetic classroom in another dimension. Um, and what that enables us to do is to really work with you at an entirely different level. It really gets us to um, be allowed to work with you from a perspective of your energy, but a perspective of your soul as well. And when you work in those energetic containers up high, what we find is manifestations accelerate faster. Why is that? So there is actually a reason for it. And that reason is, is when you're manifesting from 3D, you're manifesting from your brain space, from your feeling space, your subtle bodies, your mental, emotional fields, right? And then that requires you to lighten the energy here, and then it gets pushed, what we call pushed upstairs to your energy self, and then you start to feel like, you know, oh my gosh, the clearings, the lightness, the blah, 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 everything just seems to be freed up. Now, that can take anywhere between like, a week or two. It's just a little longer. That's all. But when we go into our 5D container and we make those same exact shifts up high in 5D in that container up high in the higher dimension, when those energetic pieces lift, they're lifting off of your energy bodies first, which means it can move quicker. It can clear quicker and then you experience that shift here in 3D at an accelerated rate and when I say that I'm talking 24 to 72 hours not weeks so as I said earlier I like to go hard and fast and that is about as fast as you can go when you're manifesting in 5D and in that higher container and I love it I mean I don't know about you like if you're like you know what's it called instant gratification that's as about as close as you can get <laughs> because it shows up really quickly um just things like you know people doing the energy work in the higher dimensions and the moment they turn off the recording and they go to the bathroom it's like boom they come back and their emails like hey i'm interested in your blah 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 program and it just blows their mind i mean like mind-blowing stuff that's the stuff that we love um so that is that's that's number one, sorry, my thoughts are getting scrambled. That's the number one reason why we like to manifest in 5D because it's super fast. The second piece is if you are energetically inclined, if you are a healer, if you um, are a psychic or you have any intuitive gifts or skills at all um, that you work with in your practice, you're going to find this to be so easy to do and so fast it's addictive. You will love it. If you're not energetically inclined at all and you're total 3D with the journals, the affirmations, you're doing a lot of the headspace work, you're going to find this to be so easy and so refreshing because it's not a lot of work. 
and you're not putting a lot of energy of force or frustration behind it. And I think that's the reason why I loved it the most because it not only helps you raise your attraction frequency and deletes like negative thoughts and feelings, but you feel so much better. It's like a whole new perception of life in some degree. It's like part of the practice is how can you feel good, right? You, you all know this if you do um, law of attraction work. And it's a real practice of, okay, you know what? That doesn't feel good. I'm going to go do something that feels good. And lightening up that energy and just opening space and creating more space for everything that you want to come in is just was a life shifter for me. I would sit in my office and I would do 3D brain work for three hours a day because that's what I thought I needed to do to get out of my way. And the only thing that that created for me was more blocks because the more you look for blocks, the more you will find blocks. Now, it's one thing to come up against a block and be like, okay, I need to look at this and shift it. That's one thing. It's another thing to sit down in front of your computer and go, okay, what blocks do I need to shift today? And then spend three hours looking for them. That creates more blocks. And it's like this never-ending cycle of never getting out of that pattern of, of just block after block after block. It's just heavy. You can probably feel it in my energy right now, of how heavy that feels. So this program just really focuses on raising your attraction frequency, feeling really good just in general about life, about having opportunity, about having possibility, about um, not being limited, of being able to deliberately sit down and be like, this is what I want and outline it and look at it and feel it and then seeing it show up in your reality. We call that getting clear. The second piece is getting clear. You have to be super clear about what it is that you desire. So it was really funny story. One of our women were um, manifesting a new partner and you know, she had went through a bad breakup and she was always attracting the same type of person. So she wanted to manifest a new partner, new partner. And, um, you know, we said, okay, you need to get really clear this time. Okay. Really clear about how this new partner feels and like, what is it that you really want out of this relationship? And she's like, well, I want a guy to be like really loyal, you know, really attentive. You know, he likes to snuggle. He likes to cuddle. You know, he's just, you know, really free with his emotions. And it was really funny because she did the exercise. And then, you know, after about a week, she's like, Okay, I have a question about this clarity because I did the manifestation with um, with my new partner, and she's like, the universe did actually deliver, but I get what you mean by being really clear now, and I was like, I don't understand what what exactly do you mean? The universe sent her a dog, a male dog, who was loyal cuddly, <laughs> everything she asked for, um, but did not specify <laughs> she wanted a human male. So that is, you know, just really little stuff like that about being really clear. And sometimes, you know, it works out, but sometimes you'll get a dog. <laughs> um, the other section we cover are mind boogies. And this is like the whole 3D area work. And we actually have a process where you can counteract your mind boogies. However, we have a 5D twist on it. We counteract mind boogies with energy and um, redirection and unraveling specific um energetic blocks. So we do that. Even that 3D piece has a little bit of a 5D twist to it. Um, so that's that's kind of fun. And now we're adding, um, so this year we're adding another module, which is module seven on recoding, doing a little bit of soul recoding for module seven and teaching people how to clear um, not only trauma related to money, but um, also energetic belief systems that you may have picked up from other people or are still carrying or are still repeating in your energy fields. Um, so that's, we're going to 
that's going to be module seven. We're going to do that. Module four and fives are my favorite. Um, and if you're um, intuitive or you're energetically inclined, you will love it because it's all about how to access your divine guidance, how to use that 5D container to kind of go up there, accelerate your manifestation, connect with your divine guidance, and not only get um, inspiration, motivation, or other creative things around, um, say your life or business, but also it teaches you how to access divine right action from your, what we call your mystic manifester. So it's not only getting the guidance and the action steps, but it's also, you know, asking questions, um, getting that inspiration when you're stuck. It's really kind of getting yourself unstuck, getting the clarity you need from your inner mystic, and then getting the divine right actions of what to do next from your inner mystic. It's kind of like really activating that prompting energy of really working co-creatively with your inner mystic, which is the whole program of what I did, right? Is to align with that inner mystic and then just work together. Um, and then the last one is um, quantum acceleration, which is my favorite. It's jumping timelines. How can you jump the timeline from here to the future and access the future timeline of when you're already in this kind of manifesting mojo and bring it back to you here into this current breath uh, and moment. And that is probably um, not only my favorite, but everybody who's ever taken this this course loves it. It's like the number one favorite module um, because it's super cool and it really does make things happen fast. And so that's just the basics. That's seven modules of the basics. And then we have like... Um, two other courses to support you, which is Hack Your Money Mind and Manifest Success, which is really, you know, getting out of your own way. That's three hours of training and exercises. And then we have the pre-work, which is our Money Honey series, which is really soul retrieval around um, anywhere you might have had trauma or issues around money or in your life or anywhere that blocks you from receiving. So that's really how we manifest in 5D and how we set it up and kind of like the story behind it. So to help deciding what course to begin with, reach out, let us know, and we'll be happy to help. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.